One church in Pennsylvania wanted to celebrate AR-15s in this incredibly tumultuous time in America in regard to gun violence. And so uh, I wanted to share the images of this event with you. Uh, it was essentially a commitment ceremony at this Pennsylvania church, the World Peace and Unif Unification Sanctuary. And so um, people showed up to renew their vows and they were all not all, but most uh, were carrying uh, these weapons. Let's take a look at the pictures. There's, there's lots of fun going on over here, uh, wearing bullet crowns and uh, essentially making oh. the argument that guns or, or weapons like AR-15s uh, have been given to the people by God. And taking them away uh, goes against their religious beliefs. So. Um, the Associated Press reported on this. They wrote that crown wearing worshipers clutching AR 15s drank holy wine and exchanged or renewed wedding vows in a commitment ceremony at this Pennsylvania church, uh, prompting a nearby school to cancel classes. Uh, that school was actually uh, concerned about the safety of the students. They were worried, the students were scared, so they just decided to be safe and just close the school for that day. The church, which has a worldwide following, believes that the AR 15 symbolizes the rod of iron in the book of Revelation and encourage couples to bring the weapon. Now, uh, there was a there was security there that checked the weapons to make sure they weren't loaded. Uh, so according to the reports, these, uh, these weapons were not loaded. But there were protesters outside of the church. One of those protesters was a woman who is not in favor of banning guns. In fact, she says that she herself has a gun. However, she says the following, I don't need a freaking assault weapon to defend myself. Only thing they're good for is killing, period. That's all that weapon is good for, mass killing. And you want to bless it, shame on you. I like that they say, no, 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 uh, they're not loaded. Dude, the bullets are on your head. Oh, <laughs> I just good, saw the pictures. That's a good point. <laughs> right, and second of all, do you trust these lunatics that when they say, "Oh no, no, we, we didn't load the weapons. This is a wacky church to begin with. They've done a lot of crazy things in the past. Mm -hmm. And it's ironically called World Peace and Unif Unification Sanctuary. Not really a sanctuary I wanna be in and doesn't look like they got a lot of peace there unless you're talking about peace as an, a weapon. Um, they might want to change the spelling of the church. Uh, and then on top of everything, they're like, okay, we got a great idea. Everybody bring all of your assault weapons. Uh, we'll get married or remarried with all this weaponry around. Nothing spells romance like renewing your vows with AR 15s and bullet crowns. Yes. Uh, TRs are so last year. Yeah. And on top of that, we'll drink a lot of wine. What could go wrong? <laughs> so. Uh, to say it's a recipe for disaster is understating it. If they got out of there without anybody getting shot, and presumably they did. They did, yeah. Thank God, okay, and maybe God's the only thing that saved them. Uh, although I don't really believe that. Uh, so, because, just imagine for a second, if the, anyone thought there was a shooting there. I mean, if someone came in and was a hostile actor, everybody's getting killed. Because not only would there be the shooter, but there'd be a hundred other people in the room shooting at the person they thought was the shooter. And it'd right. be a massacre of epic proportions. So I, I really do want to emphasize that the guns, uh, the, the, they were unloaded, okay? They so say that, I don't believe I, them at all. They're lunatics, I don't believe them. Mm -hmm. They do these mass ceremonies, they, sometimes in this church, they make you get married to your uh, to a, a spouse uh, I that you they were pick. Say a gun. I'm yeah, no, I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised by that either. Yeah. So you have deeply unstable people who have decided that they're going to be in what is borderline cult, if I'm being kind, mm -hmm. and and then they tell you, no, don't worry. In our cult, when we bring all the weapons, we generally don't load them. Mm, you'll excuse me if I don't believe you. Besides which, as I said, the bullets are right around your freaking head. Can we go to the very first photo, uh, graphic 60? Because I, I want to make a comment about that. Um, it's a woman holding her AR-15 in a very um, emotional way. I, I looked at that image for a good 60 seconds, full minute, and, and thought to myself, is there anything, any possession that I have that I love as much as that woman loves her AR-15? Have I ever felt such deep emotion over an object? And the only thing I could think of, and I don't really consider it an object, is my dog. Of course, sure. Yeah, like that's kind of the way I, I, I 
look at my dog <laughs> okay. and hold my I, dog. I, I think you're also slightly unstable, but that's okay. Uh, but I get it that a lot of people do that. Yeah. Uh, but when you do that over a killing machine, I mean, it's literally a, a tool to kill things efficiently and viciously. It rips apart bodies. It doesn't just put a hole through you. Uh, if it if it hits one of your organs, the organ explodes. I mean, it is. I know. It's a weapon of war, and she's like holding it like she needs a different rod of iron. Oh, jeez. Okay. okay. By the way, one other thing. I grew up going to Sunday school. I'm no longer religious, but one of the things that I remember in our Sunday school lessons was that as a Christian, you are not supposed to worship anything other than God. You see what I'm mm. saying? And so mm. in, in these images, you see these Preach individuals it. who claim that they're religious and it's you know part of their belief system and their values, but they're worshiping a weapon. They're worshiping you know inanimate object, an inanimate object. So it's just it's all strange, but this is American culture. This is a slice of American culture. No, no, that's a great point, Anna. The AR-15 has become their golden calf. Mm -hmm. And and finally. Uh, let's leave you with this idea. Imagine if there was a mosque in America where they all brought their AR 15s. Now, picture Muslim dudes mm -hmm. with the little skull cap and stuff, and women wearing the hijab, and they're all holding on to the AR 15s and saying, ah, uh, and holding it like this, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can't wait to do something with this. I mean, Jake. Okay, I'm imagine, forget America. Imagine if it was in Afghanistan. They'd be like, oh, look at these barbarians. Bringing their weapons like this, all and then everybody holds it there. Even their women wearing that hijab or burqa or whatever, holding these AR-15s. That would be like let's invade. Like they would have been. Look at what they're doing to our women. Look at what, how they are, and etc. Let's let's go invade. Well, I guess we're gonna have to invade uh, Pennsylvania now. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, the home of the revolution. If you'd like to get the full show, come join us and become a member. Tytnetwork.com/join.